hi guys welcome back to my channel um in today's video something a little bit different we're not going to be sculpting or creating anything um we're going to be discussing how we um waterproof sculptures that we make or any of our creations um now if um you are new to my channel please press subscribe uh, click the notification bell so that you're aware of when the next video is up and give this video a thumbs up if you do like it um, If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments and I will get back to you So first of all different clays obviously we have polymer clay we, and we have air dry clay and uh, your typical polymers like Fimo, Sculpey, Primo th there's there's tons of them um as you know you work your piece once you're ready you bake it it cools it hardens it's waterproof as far as i'm aware i mean i i haven't really used um polymer a lot but from my understanding once it's cured it's hardened and it's waterproof however if you're like me and you use air dry clay uh, such as the one that I prefer to roll with, which is DAS clay, um, then you know that once it hardens using just the air and hair dry clay, um, you will, if you want to rework it, if you find you make a mistake or anything, you can apply water and you can rework the piece. So any moisture added to it does soften it up again. So obviously if you were to make something, um, and um and then put it outside for example polymer be absolutely fine um but however air dry clay items if it wasn't properly dealt with and then um, and waterproofed it, then it would just go soggy muddy and your piece would be ruined um so what i've done is i've been looking at different ways you know scowling the internet youtube seeing how people have managed to uh, waterproof hair dry clay and to be honest there's not a lot of videos out there um and when you live in a country like such as england like uh, i currently do where it's peeing it down with rain nearly all the time um then you, you know you can't really put anything outside if you're going to use air dry clay however there was a couple of people on on online that kept suggesting uh, a certain varnish but never showed um what happened when they used it so it was just word of mouth uh, whereas others have tried something that's got wet and it's ruined or it's not been 100 percent waterproof so like um the edges have gone flimsy or something like that um so what i decided to do was make this video where i show you the one where people have basically said oh we use this it works brilliantly and then but they've not shown it um and what i did was um i mean one of the one of the people was a lady who lives in scotland and if anybody has been to scotland you know it rains a lot so well it has every time i've been up so i thought i'd give it a go uh but show you the results on here so what we've got is we've got the um the toadstool now this is that toadstool we made last week um aluminium foil inside masking tape uh like i said das clay like always and um, unlike before i didn't use my acrylic paints i just used very basic craft paints so it's not your your you know your fancy acrylics this is just just your typical craft paint that you can get from any craft store. Um, and what it is, I did all of the top what you can see, but I didn't do the bottom. Okay, so this is very important. I didn't paint the bottom, but I painted everything else you could see. Okay. Now, the varnish, which people have claimed to use, okay, is um, a yacht varnish. And I got mine from Wilco's or Wilkinson's. And it was a 250 mil can for four pound. I think it was four pound anyway. 
um and to be honest for the little bit i use this this can is going to last me forever it really is um i mean it's it, i hardly used any of it so basically this is for wood uh, it's for yachts so obviously it's in you know yachts are in water they're in canals and things like that so if it's good enough to waterproof those i thought well it's obviously going to be waterproof for uh, sculptures so it does say to apply two coats evenly and apply a third one in severe weather so obviously because we're coming up to summer didn't really class it as severe weather uh, it's not going to be submerged all the time it's going to be sat in the garden because uh, it is for my mother-in-law and um for her garden so it's uh, going on to a rockery i believe so um so basically what i did was give it a good shake and then apply even coats and so what i did i did what obviously the parts you could see first and what i found is after one coat it did actually seem to be waterproof i i tested it a little bit a couple of droplets of water just flicked on and it repelled them so i'm, I'm thinking you know brilliant second coat and tested it fantastic i, I can't fault it and i am going to show you it um now this is important that's on the top where i put the paint on the bottom where i didn't put any paint when i did the first coat i found that the clay kind of um absorbed it so it was very blotchy so then i had to put another second coat on uh, which i did last night and it's not as blotchy there are a few small blotches around here around there but when you feel it it is it is the same as the parts that are normal so what i think it looks like it's like as if there's like a wax covering so i mean if any of you guys have got yachts and you, you use this stuff let me know is, is that what it is is a wax um so yeah so two coats i may end up putting another coat on the bottom i'm, I'm not sure uh, or I may end up actually putting it on a maybe a wooden board or, or some kind of platform, unsure. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to spray some water in it and show you the effect it has. So you can see exactly what happens to the, the actual piece. So here we go. Right guys, so I hope I've got a good enough view of this. So I've tried to get as close as I can. Okay, and then what I've got here is just a spray bottle okay, it's your average spray bottles and what we're going to do is we're just going to spray it and i'm hoping you'll be able to see the effect it has um on it so here we go there we go so i don't know if you can see that guys but if you look you can see how it's bobbled now as you know if you were using any kind of clay even after it's, after it's hair dried, that would most likely soak through very, very quickly. I mean, I can go like this. And I don't know if you can see, but it's very difficult to see. But it is repelling. And there's no effect on it. It doesn't seem to be anyway. Okay. So, yeah. So, I think we may have waterproofed it. I mean, the ultimate test is going to be I'm going to actually put it out in my garden and see what happens for because it is raining at the moment. So we're going to see what happens. Um, so let me show you the underneath as well. So I'll show you the, if it is different, but it does seem to soak it a little bit. So I'm not sure if I, I, I think I may put another coat on the bottom before it goes out just to be on the safe side but uh, but overall on the the upper section uh, up here I mean it's, look, it's still bobbled and it doesn't seem to be affecting it in any way so i'm i'm pretty pleased because like i said normally if um you've ever reapplied water to a an ardent piece you'd know that it, it goes soft pretty quickly so so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that. 
and we'll uh we'll see what happens uh once it's been out in the rain for a day or two because we are in the middle of a bit of a storm at the minute so i will uh let you know what happens but looking pretty good um so yeah guys um yeah so like i said the um it doesn't seem to affect it i mean it looked like it absorbed again but when i press it it's not i mean i'm digging my nail well what little nails i have I'm, i am actually digging my nails in and it's not doing anything so i would say that that is a success uh like i said i'm gonna put it outside for a day before it goes to my my mother-in-law um just to double check but i think we've actually managed to uh to air waterproof air dry clay hopefully um like i said it may need another coat uh but we'll see how it goes and if it does end up being uh you know rubbish and not a success then what i'll do is i'll give you an update in um the next few videos of what happens to it uh if it is then i will let you know you know that that's the the stuff you need to buy so once more if you're interested in knowing what it is it's just satin clear yacht varnish got mine from wilco's let's see focus there we are got mine from wilco's but i think you can get it from any kind of um diy shop uh but i got mine from wilco's really cheap four quid and I think like the big ones as well. We're only about eight. So, right then, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, not as long as usual. And I will give you an update in the next few videos to let you know whether or not this definitely worked or not. And if it didn't, then we will go back to the drawing table. And if it did, then you'll be seeing some outdoor sculptures coming soon because I do have uh, one planned where uh it's, which is going to be the next coming video i believe or the one after depending on how quick i can get it done um and if it's a, this is a success it'll be going outside if it's not it'll be hanging up somewhere in the house okay guys so like i said i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time bye